But right now I'm going to bring up a guy who isn't on the phone. He's right here live in person, has his own show at uh, Nick's Comedy Stop. What night is that, Don? Saturday. Saturday nights. <laughs> And he's a great comedian, and if you want to see great comedy, well, you go down and see him there at, at Nick's. And uh, actually, if you want to see great comedy, why don't you sit tight for the next 10 minutes, because he's coming out right now. Please, a nice round of applause, Mr. Don Gavin. Looking group here, you're looking taller than I thought you'd be, but you're good. And uh, it's funny they say laughter is the is the best medicine, uh, but codeine works pretty effectively too, I think. But uh, I don't know. I'm not. You know, it's I, you complain about life a lot. I think it's been funny. I, I was complaining one time. I was looking down. I realized that I felt upset because I I had no shoes and until until I met a man who was wearing those two tone yuppie dark side of shit things, and I said I don't look that bad at all, you know. And uh, <laughs> So it's an improvement, I guess. I think they've actually been uh, pretty well, uh, pretty good, pretty nice. Uh, we went, actually, I was at the Sox game tonight because, uh, I don't know why I was there, but it was a place, let me explain, the bathroom there is a little bit different. Family Park is a beautiful place, but they've never changed the men's room. There may be 100 years. It's one of the few places that still, still is one of those horse trials, which is kind of nice, you know? And, I mean, you're at the game, it's maybe the third inning you go on. I'd like to have maybe four guys splash on me right now. So you go down there, and it's one of the few places that you do wear socks, you know? And, so 12 guys are lined up there, and everybody is like comparison shopping, you know, and uh, it's just not that good. I mean, uh, I think that men's rooms and ladies' rooms, as a rule right now, are becoming more difficult even to get in. They don't say men and women on the doors. For 50 years, they said men and women, right? Not that I'm 50, but I, I read a book on urine. And, uh, but now, now they have the theme names on the doors. And this has happened to you, like Mexican restaurant the night, Matador and Bull, right? I'm not sure which one I am. You know, you're dancing around, trying to figure it out. Right? Lad and Lassie, good. A guy and his dog are all set. Where am I going, you know? And now they have the physical ones. Aren't those cute? Point your cute. That's actually what I just did. And it sounded like I said cute. And uh, we have a few foreigners here. And I do this stuff for them. And uh, I didn't screw up. I'll just watch this. <laughs> they love it. Now, okay. But So those things are cute. They have pointers and setters, shakers and wipers. It's gone a little bit too far, you know? I live in the beach. They have one that says outboards and inboards. I mean, they're actually, true story. There are guys out in the car that are going, vroom, vroom. Oh, thank God I have a long cord, you know, but now, now they don't even have names. They have the, they have the black silhouettes. You've seen these ones that you have to match up to the picture. There's no writing at all. You gotta go up to the thing like this. And... Oh, I think I got one of those. Okay, good. You know? And when you get in, the towels in bathrooms, very ineffective. There are three types. There's the paper towel, the one you push, you get about an inch a week, right? And they have an emergency feed. There's no emergency. This shit's run down my arm. It doesn't matter, okay? The second one is what? The cloth towel. Yo, let me pick a disease. That looks like a good one right up there. Yeah. And the worst one by far, I think, are the blowers. You know, the ones push button and rub hands briskly. Hey, rub this briskly. Will you put... I mean, you do it for 15 minutes, and what happens? They never get dry. They turn red. That's all, right? Then you what? You wipe your hands and your ass, and you walk out of that. That's a pain. I thought... But funny, Mike and I have been working together in Boston for about, about seven years, so apparently neither one of us are going to make it, but uh, <laughs> no, he has this show. I, I was on TV. I was on, uh, what was, oh, I was a kid who died on Nine is Enough. That's a big deal, I guess, but uh, <laughs> not a real big spot, but I like it. You know, but, uh, but it's tough. I think in this show, most of us are kind of like night people. We're not tremendously organized. I will say that, and I admit that. Uh, there is a book right now, I think it's number three on the uh, non-fiction best, bestseller list. The book is about being organized in life. So anyway, so I bought the thing, right? I lost it about a half an hour later, and I said, shit, you know, uh, I'm not organized. I admit. I'll give you an example. Anybody that carries an umbrella, I think we can safely say, is an ass, because uh, <laughs> does this guy get up like an hour before time and what, look at a weather report? Oh, it looks like it might be raining. I'll bring foul weather gear. Good. Most of us don't do that. You're racing around the house. You're looking for that other shoe. You're spending 20 minutes doing that, you know? It just doesn't work out. But I mentioned TV because I have one. And uh, I don't know. I've been watching most of the commercials on TV. You're beginning to aggravate. I think the one that's now that's really bothered me is the 9X commercial. You familiar with this one? The 9X one, where they have the, the nuclear family, right? Not that they've been blown up, but there's four people there, you know? And there's the fireplace going in the background. And the father is the intelligent one because he has the glasses. And that's always a key, you know? And the, the, the mother, I guess, she's maybe retired. We don't really know. She's a, you know? 
And then you have the little kids. The little girl is Jewish, by the way. I don't know how she's in that. The rest of the family isn't, you know, but uh, I don't know. You know? I was trying to figure maybe both her parents were adopted. I don't know how it worked, but anyway, so she's there. The girl is maybe seven and says to the father, Dad, Dad, what makes the grass green? And the father, looking over, and in a, in a wise man, you know, that wise look, he goes, oh, the grass is green because of chlorophyll. The kid is seven. I imagine, why did you, I don't believe I didn't think of that. Chlorophyll, shit, no, that's it. Thank you, I got it, right? Then there's a two-year-old kid. He's still in diapers. He's shitting himself, right? And he says, he says to the guy, he says, Dad, Dad, is the moon made of cheese? And the father goes, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, son, molecules. Again, the kid's going, the proton theory. I don't believe this. I should have had that down, you know? Get in the 9X book, will you, Dad, please, you know? But the worst one on TV, I think, now is the Clapper commercial, you know, because it's on so often. Clap your hands, the light goes on. Clap your hands, the light goes on. <laughs> they actually have one for clapping your hands, and you get it for your car keys, and your keys will make a noise when you clap your hands. And it says in the ad, it says, ideal for people with poor vision. Let me get this straight. There's a guy in the house. He's so blind, he can't find his keys anywhere, right? Then he claps his hands, he picks them up, and he goes out on the highway. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> no, not a good idea. Well, it's funny, I've been, uh, I've been eating a lot lately. I eat quite a bit anyway, every day. And you know that, Mike. And uh, it's, I swear, I get, anybody out here that's fat, die fat, who gives a shit? Because we get so worried about it. They have these charts, and we all pay attention to charts. On the left, they have, you know, the height, and across the top, they have the weight. And you try to, you know, once I'd like to see 5'6", 275. Okay, good, I'm in there, you know? I'm in the realm right there, you know? I'm not Mr. Exercise, I don't know. They have, one well, of those exercise machines now, the, the beds you lie down and you lose weight by doing that. Yeah, I'm sure those work. Yeah, right. Yeah. All this other stuff about actually exercising and moving about, that is not that important, you know? I mean, a friend of mine jogs, I said, how much do you jog? He said, about nine miles a day. And I said, where do you start? He said, the house. I said, where do you finish? He said, the house. I said, shit, I'm doing that and I'm still in bed, but that's all right, you know? And I'm sure, but I do, I like the food. And uh, I went out and I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, there is a uh, restaurant around here, a brand new place, I might mention that by name, a gourmet place called Ponderosa. And uh, some of you are laughing, you probably can't afford it, but go to Ponderosa because it's like $3.95, that's the basic price, but then they hit you for the extras, like if you want to sit down or uh, if you want the food on a plate, you know, and I was there tonight, and I was behind an elderly lady, and I don't know what old is, I'll admit that, uh, and I wasn't going to, you know, cut off one of her legs to count the rings or anything, but she was... Uh, a buck, see, I didn't know her, that's why I wouldn't do that. But she was like a buck forty, maybe a buck fifty, but a nice lady. And she's the type, we're in the salad bar line, the type that's always moving. Have you seen these people that never stop moving? And I figured, you know, even if she gets the salad, it's going to be tossed. I don't want to be nearby. And for 20 minutes, she kept this up. I'm going, she has to be plugged into something. No one has that much energy. So I was looking for a power cord, and I couldn't find one. And then I figured it might be drugs that like to talk to us. So I got in close. <laughs> And I was checking to see if maybe she had a battery pack, right? Now she grabbed onto me. Now the two of us are doing this stuff. And the people in the restaurant, they thought it was the entertainment. They're dancing around us. And, and finally, the true story. Finally, I broke away and I said, how old are you? And she said, oh, uh, and uh, I don't know what she was saying. I don't speak old, but she was old. I mean, she knew God. They went to high school together, but she, she got the salad tongs to work. That's a miracle. I've never done it. I always have, the, I have those, like, the lettuce kicking people out, you know, the thing, the little cherry bombs. I mean, after, like, what, halfway through, I give up. I go, look. And then what? You put the stuff on with your hand. And now they put a clear plastic shield in front. You know the kind? You want food now, you got to go in underneath to get the food. The good food is in the back. In the front, they give you, like, a yard of chickpeas. Nobody eats that. But in the back, there are live lobsters. You've seen them and I've seen them. But you can't reach them. And the lobsters know it. They're looking at you. They're giving you the claw. And I hate taking shit from a crustacean. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Don Gavin. Come on over, Don. Yeah, right up here. Don Gavin, ladies and gentlemen. Well done. See Don every Saturday night over at Nick's Comedy Stop in Boston. Look. Yeah, pretty okay. good. Yeah. I got two of those. Get a little shot. Mm. I'll be putting this on sometime during the show. So okay. I don't worry about it. Yeah. That's all right. We had this trouble the last time. No, it is. I see. I'm not. You got to quit wearing sweaters. Well, that could be it, but I'm not mechanical. Along either. with that, they actually have like those grips set at about two thousand foot pounds. Yeah, so, I think uh, that's that's perfect right yeah, there. That's okay. beauty right there. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you've just come back off the road, have you? Yeah, well, actually, uh, I'm going away to land in the mall, but I had a six-week tour 
uh, which was was just uh, canceled. I was it's, I know, it was opening for this Fred Astaire character, right? And he gets sick or something. Uh, but yeah. I don't know. It just uh, <laughs> I know I feel bad about it too. You know, but true story, true story. Oh, go who you weren't sending any flowers, pal. <laughs> That's right. You still living on the beach? Oh, yeah. Mr. Beach. That's me. Yeah. You yeah. could probably tell I by the tell. tan. What yeah. a tan. Yeah. Ooh, brown as a berry, they say. That's Actually, right. I'm Irish, so I, if you have Irish blood and you don't get a tan, you look, you look like a milk bottle with arms, mostly, is what you look like. You know? so, <laughs> that's, that's, you know? But this is very uh, Florida. Oh, it certainly is. Yeah, this Key is, West look. This, this I bought. Actually, I bought it here at a men's shop, a place called Marshall's. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> Exclusive French store, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I wish we were making some of this up. Okay, good. <laughs> no socks today? You no, no socks was, any day, uh, as a matter of fact. I just like it when I can actually match up the shoes. The socks is like another big deal, so this was enough tonight. No underwear either, but I, we, no we, underwear? we can take my word on that one, okay? Okay, we will. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, what have you been doing other than comedy? Oh, uh, I'm still trying to get the job at the 7-Eleven, but I don't know. It just, uh, <laughs> you know, I figured after six years of this, it would be like an inroad, but it, yeah. It didn't work out. Actually, the money thing has been kind of tough. Not a lot of cash lately. Why? I, have you been gambling? I've been known to wager, yeah. yeah. I, uh, were you at the uh, Hearns Hagler fight? Yes, we were there, unfortunately. Uh -huh. yeah. We were in the losing section, as a matter of fact. The whole group was there. But well, I, now, last week I lost. I'm watching TV. I lost 50 bucks on uh, White Shadow, right? And, uh, <laughs> no, Carver High was at home there, given four. I said, not a bad bet, but it was a repeat. I didn't even know this. And I said, ah, shit. You know? <laughs> So this isn't working out. The white shadow. True, true. But the money thing, how are you doing? We have given a pair of handsome sum to do this, right? Tonight? No, every time when you do it, don't you? You didn't get the bottle of beer in the back? The bottle? No, I didn't. No, the they didn't have any bottles. Yeah. That was for the foreigner, thank you. Okay, good. That's right. That's that Forster's bottle of beer. It's <laughs> a beautiful thing coming in here. She said, I think that I shouldn't have worn the wool jacket tonight because I think I'm going to lose about six pounds. It's about a buck forty in here, so uh -huh. yeah, you'll be yeah, able to It's starting to get a little bit warm. Mm. Uh, but that money thing, we were talking about that aspect. Now, you, what are your plans? Uh, what have you been doing? You monetarily? You any plans at all. You can tell us anything. Well, <laughs> I'm How gonna... did I take this over? You're asking me questions. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, I'm, I'm going to go to uh, Memphis. Going to Memphis, Tennessee. You've worked in Memphis before. Oh, yeah. They... <laughs> the room with the pit. There's a, gem there's a room. That the you pit wasn't there. When I, I was there right after I left. I was causing that, I think. But the, I, I don't, the, the you room didn't play back? that room I with the giant play. pit? I did, yeah. It was like a 30-foot drop to the people. So, you know. They yeah, were all like this came there. They paid six, seven dollar cover charge. They didn't care about the comedy. They just wanted somebody shit faced to fall <laughs> off the stage and uh, <laughs> came to see a good death <laughs> at that point. But I was talking about cash. The reason I keep mentioning money is because I'm trying to get a loan. I don't know if I was talking about that. You need a new car. You're famous for going. I need to any cars. car, any car at all. Actually, I tell you what, the the money thing, the banks. I, go, I you know I don't have any money, but I still go to banks. I reminisce, you know. <laughs> and uh, I got down last night. So I got down. And I figured maybe I get so many bills, so I. At my bed, I, I knelt down and I started looking for coins, you know, no prayers. Prayers aren't going to work anymore, right. but I figured that might help. But I swear, the bank thing, I don't go anymore anyways that much because I always get behind the guy that converts his stocks into Canadian quarters. It's like, you know, you're there for like six, maybe seven hours, that type of stuff. Like know? that little maze they put you in? That's, yeah, the thing, I never understand that part. Now, you get up, uh, before you could actually kind of move around and you try to figure, you know, okay, five people in that line, two in that line, one's an old lady, she'll screw it up, so you move back, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But now you're kind of confronted with that. It's difficult. 